Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Hope you're all well. I've got a free KBO Korean Baseball League pick coming up uh, for Tuesday morning. Early action, May 26th in just a moment. First couple of quick notes. If you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on that link below the video and get yourself set up for a free 60 bucks. You can use those 60 bucks, by the way, on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Click on the link below the video to get started. A uh, great weekend for the big plays again in soccer. We cashed another seven star on Saturday morning with Borussia uh, Dortmund, and we are now 3 0 in the month of May. 3 0 with our seven star plays on the pitch. Cool thing about the schedule is we've got a handful of games on Tuesday in German Bundesliga action. I think there's four or five games. All but one start at 2 30 p.m. Eastern time, 11 30 a.m. Pacific. Uh, the other game goes at 12 30 Eastern, 9 30 Pacific. So plenty of action we can watch some live bundesliga soccer at a good time afternoon action for us rather than being really early in the morning i will be in action we are up almost three thousand dollars in soccer over the last four plus weeks for those wagering just 100 dollars per unit uh, gonna have a big play going on tuesday's card so be sure to check that out my plays will be available tuesday at 11 30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific for tuesday afternoon's games as far as everything else uh kbo action uh, we will be back uh, I would expect on Wednesday. I didn't have a premium pick for Tuesday, but I do have a pick here, a bet for me that I'm going to give you in just a moment. We did cash our final uh, KBO play before they took the day off. We had a total that went over for us by uh, five runs, a uh, 16-run game in, with an 11 total, and we cashed that one and uh, been off the last couple of days. Of course, the league was off today or early Monday morning, and we took Sunday and Monday off from the KBO. So uh, be back in action, and my plays for Wednesday will be posted on uh, Tuesday at 3 30 p.m. Eastern, 12.30 Pacific. Now the not-so-good news. Uh, we were just red-hot tearing it up in NASCAR, and we looked like we were going to win again on Sunday night. I don't know if you happened to see the race. Uh, we had a matchup on Martin Truex Jr., our lone matchup of the entire uh, race, and uh, 400 laps complete in a 400-lap race. He wins the matchup. Unfortunately, those rules that were changed uh, a couple of years ago where you have to have overtime in certain situations. Well, one of those situations, uh, ugly head rose and uh, they had to go an extra five laps. And with everything that happened, it was either you were lucky or you were unlucky. And uh, we had Martin Truex and he did not get the win for us. He went from cashing to a sixth place finish, couple of slots below the opponent that we had him going against. I wasn't involved in anything else, uh, but I really, my heart goes out to anybody who had Chase Elliott to win the race. Uh, he pits with a couple of laps to go, couldn't recover, finish his third. He was leading the race at the time uh, that he chose to pit. And then, of course, if you had Jimmy Johnson tied to your matchups at all, as far as Jimmy Johnson to win matchups, which wasn't a bad play, he finishes the race second. And uh, not too long after that post-race inspection, uh, they ruled that there was a violation. Jimmy Johnson is disqualified. And if you had yet to cash your ticket, uh, that's a tough beat. So I didn't have either one of those, but I did have Martin Truex in the matchup. The cool thing about it is we'll get right back in it on Wednesday. There's a race on Wednesday at Charlotte Motor Speedway. My play for Wednesday will be posted at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, current runs in NASCAR 19-6 and six with our last 25 and 26-9 and nine with our last 35. And we'll look to continue to hold that title as the number one NASCAR better going back to 1996 when I used to co-host the world-famous Stardust line and uh, started doing my NASCAR capping all the way Way back then. All right, enough of that. Let's get to our free KBO pick for early Tuesday morning. It goes at 5.30 a.m. Eastern, 2.30 a.m. Pacific, as do all the games in the KBO on Tuesday. Oh, real quick note. We're just a couple of weeks away from Japanese baseball. Just wanted to toss that out there. Looks like they're going to start around mid-June. We'll have more on that when it comes up, but uh, we've been a follower of Japanese baseball for many years now, so looking forward to that. Looking forward to handicapping and betting on Japanese baseball. Maybe Major League Baseball comes back by July, hopefully, uh, but at least we'll have Korean and Japanese and some Taiwan baseball in between, uh, between now and then. So KBO free pick for Tuesday morning. Uh, we are going to back the 
NC Dinos. We're going to lay the runs line here, minus a run and a half. I see it's anywhere from minus a buck 15 to minus a dollar 23 if you choose to lay the run and a half as we are. Uh, NC Dinos at home over the Kiwoom Heroes. And boy, you just got to love everything about NC right now. And the pitcher that's going for them scheduled in this game is Cheng Mo Koo. And he's pitched three starts thus far. He's lasted eight innings, eight innings, and six innings. A nice 22 innings pitched in those three outings. He's allowed just one earned run. Best pitcher in the KBO right now. 12 base runners. That's it in 22 innings. No home runs allowed. And they suspect that the KBO has juiced that ball a little bit this season. Yet he's allowed no home runs in 22 innings. That's an 041 ERA, an 055 whip. And he's got a 9.1 strikeouts per nine innings pitched ratio going into Tuesday morning start. And as far as NC is concerned, they're just complete, man. The best defensive metrics, you know, all the pitching metrics are really good. Their number one in runs per game allowed, opponents batting average allowed, OBP allowed, slugging percentage allowed, and they average on offense over six runs per game. On the flip side, Kiwoom's only won four of their last 11. One of their problems has been scoring. They've scored three runs or less in the somewhat high scoring league in five of the last 11 games. And the pitcher going on Tuesday morning for Kiwoom is Sung, Hu, Sung Ho Lee, uh, who has an ERA above five, a whip of about a buck 50 in three games. And here's the thing. He's got a hefty ERA, a hefty whip and that's come against SK worst offense of the league Hanwha the second worst offense of the league and Samsung who is you know eighth in batting average eighth in OBP I mean he's faced three not too hot offenses thus far and his ERA is north of five let's back NC let's lay the run and a half NC Dinos your free pick Tuesday morning Korean baseball all right that's going to do it for me for Tuesday if you like the videos click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe and I'll be right back here Wednesday again between 8 p.m. Eastern 10 p.m. Eastern uh, with a free pick from Wednesday's Korean baseball action don't forget about German Bundesliga soccer if you're into soccer and you're into winning bets we'll have those available on Tuesday for Tuesday afternoon in action over at DocSports.com. We'll talk to you on Tuesday night with our free KBO pick for Wednesday morning.